it's not to be tolerated and it's not accept acceptable uh, in this uh, uh, setting. A Quebec government commissioned report into the conditions at Les Residences Floralie, two privately owned long-term care homes in Montreal, has revealed widespread mistreatment of residents. The Lachine location here and the LaSalle one were put under trusteeship on September 1st amid allegations of poor care. The public report alleges abuse in all its forms, including violence and negligence on the part of employees and a lack of treatment and services. Those situations of uh, management that have to be improved were, were known on in, the, in those reports. This is what we were working on. But to talk about the mistreatment, this is a new situation. With 21 recommendations made to improve quality of care for all residents of the long-term care system, the issues investigator Michel Delamar listed in his report include abuse from staff towards patients, noting residents were found with untreated sores, dehydration and signs of violence such as bruises. The employees that, that were not good for the job, they, they put them out. So there's new people coming in. Public health authorities are overseeing the residents for at least 180 days. Of course, looking back, we 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 uh, should have uh, you know intensify our our uh, uh, interventions uh, on in those. Um, setting earlier. The report also found poor infection control probably worsened a streptococcus A outbreak last summer that killed six people. David Gill's parents Rhoda and Fred were infected during the outbreak and survived, but his father has since passed from other causes. There's always this potential for cross-contamination and stuff like that, you know, like maybe it's uh, understaffed and protocols are not followed. Now the residence is training employees on infection control practices and prevention. I guess it takes abuse or it takes a death, you know, for, for things to change, you know, that's a sad reality. The goal is that it does not happen again, that the residents receive the best possible services. We cannot redo the past. There have been mistakes, there have been shortcomings, that we cannot deny. But we can guarantee that if we, Les Florali, have not demonstrated that we're in full control of the situation, the CIUS will not withdraw. It needs um, to, to stay longer, we're going to stay longer. We want to make sure that the residents are in uh, good hands. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.